Hello my Soccer Universe and welcome to the jersey review of the 2023 AFC Asian Cup which happens in 24 and if you remember if you have been a long time subscriber the first Asian Cup review I did back in 2019 so five years ago and we're gonna do it again as always the Asian Cup is an interesting mixture of jerseys that have been released already for the World Cup so we know them quite well of the teams that were there and then a very eclectic mix of different suppliers. In fact, we have a total of 13 suppliers. Of the 24 teams, six are supplied by Nike, four by Adidas, then three by Yako, and two by Kelman, and then everything else is just spread out all over. So this makes it always very interesting to look at the Asian Cup. On the flip side, as we'll see, there are a lot of template shirts, especially by smaller companies in there. That sometimes I would say the Asian Cup looks maybe a little bit more boring than it should, but we will see all about that. As always, when I do a jersey review, I take all my pictures from Football Kit Archive, a website that I always warmly recommend. Uh, and I'm doing this now after the first match day of the Asian Cup as well, so I've seen a little bit of the jerseys to get a little bit of better idea how they even look in game and you know confirming what is out there. All the jerseys are rated from a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. I will uh, go relatively quickly over the jerseys that we've already seen at the World Cup. I look at it and I don't think my grading has changed a lot, so we don't need to go over these, but I will put a little bit more focus on the more uh, on the jerseys we have not seen yet, so uh, that's also for sure. I am planning to do this review since we also have to do an AFCON in three parts. Uh, in part one, we look at the jerseys from A, groups A and B, part two, C and D, and uh, part three, groups E and F. And as I've done in all the previous uh, parts, we put all the teams together and go through them, not group by group, but alphabetically, which means we'll start with the letter B, which is Bahrain which is the only Puma team in this competition. And like so many others, it's a Puma template. However, this one looks interesting. This one actually does look in, in, interesting with the gray specs on there. Um, again, the flag, the flag, the flag. I said it in the previews, but I really don't like it when the flag is put on the front of a national team jer uh, jersey, especially when there's a federation crest as well. Do something a little bit more interesting. Uh, but given that the pattern is there, uh, it's not an uninteresting shirt per se, but again, <laughs> I'm so tempted to go to my happy center for these uh, and say this is a six star shirt. Um, and the away jersey is more of the same. We have here the hexagon pattern that we have seen with Puma a few years ago. Um, just not sure if all the logos get not a little bit too much lost and it's a little bit too regular but it does it does look even weird uh if you ask me it's not bad i like that it's kind of this all red you know if you light red and dark dark, dark red but it's also not a <laughs> great jersey unless there's a big beekeeping culture in Bahrain. i'm gonna give this a five star uh moving on to jordan yakos um home shirt again yako template as template can be taken the red yako shirt slap on 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 the crest side strapping it's done it is like the uae a little bit disappointing for that reason only five stars without it being bad but it's also not good either and it could have been so so much better because look look at the away jer jersey i mean Again, Jordan, there's a lot of history there where you could draw from. And again, this is an Arab nation that probably doesn't want to do that. Or maybe they don't have the money to uh, fund something. Like that. But here, at least we have interesting sleeves. And that elevates the jersey immediately to something much, much better. And if Uzbekistan can get a nice Yaku shirt, I think Jordan probably can do the same. I really like this one. I would give this an 8 star. This is, this is actually... An outstanding shirt, I have to say. Let's go to, I think, a newbie in Kyrgyzstan. Homa is taking on Kyr 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 Kyrgyzstan and they have, of course, a red home shirt. And again, a font that I remember, but I wouldn't, I couldn't place it right now. Uh, I want to say it's also Barcelona. Oh, this was like the La Liga font uh, at one point. Uh, that's what I want to see. You have a red shirt. 
you use the country's colors, you have the yellow um, um, color, you have your federation crest there, there is a little flag below, okay, and then you have the cultural pattern. That's all I want to have. I'm going to give this a nine star. Uh, this is really well done. And that's for a really small nation like Kyrgyzstan. The away jersey also, I mean, here we have white uh, with um, a dark blue. I wonder it, but you know, it wants to stand out. And then you have, again, a very interesting pattern. Now, I don't know if this is cultural or not. I mean, it looks almost like a snowy forest uh, on, on the mountain slope. Looks pretty cool. I think here Kyrgyzstan have really, really nice shirts. I gotta say, I like the home shirt a tad more, so I'm gonna give this eight, but this is also really, really nice. Maybe the flag is sticking out a little bit too much on this one. Then we go to another Nike team in Malaysia, and Malaysia, I was a little bit so surprised to play in yellow, black. Wouldn't have guessed this from from, from flag, but so, so, so be it. Uh, and I have to say, this is again a very simple Nike template. What makes it stand out is that the color choice is different from the others. I mean, yes, Australia, but yeah, it's not so, so bad. And there's also a little bit of a pattering going, going, going on there. Um, it's not hor horrible. I am going again back to my happy medium, which is the stick star. How about the away jersey? That one reminds me a little bit of this famous China shirt that was never worn. Um, it's not because this is a template. I think Freiburg is using this this season as well. But you know, in gray and black, it looks really cool. And then you have the yellow accents that makes it stand out. Yes, it is simple, but there's something about this jersey that I immediately say this looks quite nice. So I'm gonna go seven with this one. Moving on to Oman. Oman's jerseys. Last time around they were with Macron. I really love, love them. Kappa actually do it as well. And to, and to be honest, probably the worst thing about this jersey is the Oman logo, which is not bad, but it also looks a little bit too modernist, a little bit, um, yeah, not quite fitting, especially with when, when you see what's on the shirt. This is it a carpet or a cloth pattern where maybe one part is a little bit too red, the other one is so, but it's really cool. That's the stuff I like. I like, like I see it also having red and a little, a little bit green also adds to the whole vibe of this shirt. Uh, the Kappa logo in red with white outline, I find it also in interesting because it hides it a little bit away. But again, I think the only thing that's not fitting is the Oman crest. I think this is another strong, uh, a strong shirt. I want to give this eight and the away jersey does the same thing, just taking it in white. And I have to say, this looks even well. Nah, it's right there with, with, with the home, 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 home jersey, but I feel that you see the pattern a little bit better. Again, choices, choices, choices. I'm gonna go <laughs> with eight right here as well. Then we go to Saudi Arabia, which is the one national team that was at the World Cup that have switched suppliers. Meanwhile, they're with Adidas. And like all the other Adidas teams, they got template jerseys. However, they got interesting templates. And while I was never a particular fan of this one, when I saw this in game, uh, this didn't look that bad. I have to, I have to say, and you know, we know the uh, the Saudi Arabian Fair Federation has always some palm trees in there, and you could make that these are the trunks of palms. So in that sense, it actually even makes sense. Uh, the light green atomic sweat stains is maybe the one thing that doesn't make sense uh, and i would probably have liked the three adidas straps to be also green uh kind of to keep with the tone of the shirt but i understand why it's white and then we have the fourth color around the neck which is probably also a little bit superfluous but overall it is a way more decent shirt and i would expect it's not as great as what uh, they had previously with nike but you know you just got in into new country you're not gonna get something really really special the first time around maybe the next one that will will be released will be better so i'm gonna go yeah i'm gonna go seven i wanna elevate it a little bit more however i do like the away jersey uh slightly better mainly because of the green sleeve because i also like how the uh, sandy yellow uh, stripes play very well in there. My only complaint, it's not so bad because we have the raglan sleeves again, the atomic sweat stains here in green. Uh, that is maybe the one thing uh, I would take out. But other, other than that, I think this is quite nice and seems more like a Saudi home jersey to me. For me, Saudi home, hundreds more white with green than uh, pure green. But liking this one as well, 
tad better than the home home jersey not enough for me to go eight stars so i'm gonna go seven here as well then jerseys that we have already seen are from south korea the home jersey although the colors are exactly what i like red and black it just it doesn't fit it sucks the life out of it this is a lifeless jersey to, to me it's not a great look, look, looking jersey at all although uh per se there are quite a few things I, sh I should like but it's too little vibrancy there for three stars and for the away jersey that one i loved i mean get colorful fiberky whatever uh it fits the vibe of korea for me and therefore I went with nine stars. I do not like it as much as this one. This is way, this is a bit more outstanding if you were to ask me. Which leaves us with the last one, which is Thailand. And we're talking here about Vorix, another new supplier, <sighs> very standard shirts in, in a way, you know, almost polo shirts that you could go out to and to, to wear, which I think is really cool. Before we go in into the shirt, which I do like, honestly, I always wonder what should the Thailand crest be? Is there an elephant in there? Kind of, because you know, I know the flag and then it's kind of contoured into the shape that potentially could be an elephant, but I'm not 100% sure. So if you know more, just let, let me know. Uh, blue, I know Japan is blue, I know Uzbekistan is blue, but blue is always a, a welcome change in there also at the Asian Cup, to be honest. Um, I do like the very simple, polo style collar um, I wish maybe there is a pattern in there that I could make it out a little bit more maybe this is related to the crest so uh, don't know quite about that but it's not a bad shirt um, I would give it yeah let's give it a seven stars I mean it's not uh, outstanding but it's also not bad the away jersey reminds me a little bit of a Liverpool jersey the first Nike Liverpool jersey although it uses more the aqua blue than the turquoise that liverpool had um again the crest is also discolorized to kind of fit in there uh it's a more modern color to me with the button uh but also i mean it stands out among all the other asian cup shirts i have to have to say i don't have a problem also giving this a seven then we have the third jersey in orange potentially a relationship to buddhism that's why it's orange too little contrast to for me for the away jersey so i don't think this will be worn at the asian cup it is interesting but for me you know orange that's the netherlands <laughs> not necessarily thailand but i guess it is fine it's not a bad shirt i just don't quite get it and then uh well there is an interesting pattern in there it almost looks to me like circuits uh you know like a, uh, for, on a computer so i actually want to take this down for a little bit uh, uh let's go for a six but the fourth jersey i actually do like this one quite a, a bit that actually would make for me for a very nice away jersey as well you have the colors from the flag and it's white but i like how the pattern is done on top has a little bit of a South American flavor as well, which is also not a bad thing, but you know, I think it will also fit very nicely within Thailand, of course, because otherwise they wouldn't do it. Again, a jersey that I don't think we'll see, but I like that we have full color crest. The Vorex logo actually is a really nice one. And then you have the nice shoulder pattern that goes all the way. Really, really liking this one. And we end the entire Asian Cup jersey review on a high point. I'm gonna give this nine stars. So we're done with all the jerseys, everything, reviewed please let me know which jersey in this video you liked or disliked and uh, where you agree and disagree with me uh please drop a line below and i will talk soon about more things jerseys and other things in my soccer universe bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe and with that have a wonderful day. Bye.